Here we go again. Another crappy laser system. Oh my god. I think the only thing good thing about this is the, the plotter function. But if you want to draw something, why, why wouldn't you just uh, draw it by hand? I don't understand these plotters. I really don't. I mean, look how slow it is. You could probably draw something by hand faster than that. Oh, God. Yeah. Just went until it gets to the laser part. That's the part that always fascinates me. I mean, a five-year-old can draw all that in, like, a matter of minutes. There we go. I love the extraction, non-existent. And a nice little blue laser with no detail in it. And I love how they speed up the video to make it look like it does it so quickly. Yeah, I've seen that design. It's everywhere all over the internet. Nothing original. I love the wooden uh, tea lights. Yeah, let's burn the house down. I like that little toy. That's a funky toy. I've made a few of those. But still, nothing original. I mean, why? Look at all that smoke. It's just the biggest fire hazard. Laser systems require hardcore extraction. If you don't have proper extraction, you, you can literally burn the house down. I mean, I've got my laser system, and I've shown this before. That's a two horsepower extractor right there, going out my window. Now this is the setup I've got in my room. That's the laser system I've got. Extraction is out the back in the back there. It's got a hardcore power CO2 laser there And the extraction in this thing is sufficient to get rid of any sort of fumes If you're burning paper, the paper won't catch on fire and the number one thing is It's got sensors on the inside So that if anything does um, Catch on fire the system instantly shuts itself down the extractor keeps working, so we'll hopefully extract all the all the fire and uh, all the fumes, and it goes straight out. This is not something that should have a laser on it. I mean, even just as a hobby. If you're a hobbyist, you build your own and you do it properly. Shit, yeah, just the same old crap, same old stuff. I love in the uh, later on here how um, I love I love this. Um, it can cut uh, wood up to three millimeters. That's probably just MDF. Uh, try cutting jarrow with that. It will take you hours. Um, paperboard, paper, leather up to one millimeter. Yeah, that will take you hours. Just non-transparent acrylic. It all depends on what laser you put on there. But obviously they've got a blue laser on there, so. Yeah, that's not very good at all. The only good thing about it is it's a nice, neat chassis. That's the only really good thing about it. Yeah, that's not a very good laser. And if anybody's ever worked with printing straight from a photo or any sort of normal program into these lasers, they would, they would know that it, it doesn't work properly. You need something like Corel they've got there, obviously. Oh no, that's Inkscape. Similar. I use Corel. You can see I'm doing some plotting and uh, work at the moment. I've got Corel 17 at the moment. So it's not like I'm talking out of my ass. I've worked with lasers for over 10 years. Like, seriously. I've always wanted a small compact laser and like there's that piece of crap Mr. Bean 
Tuli, never even heard of that. Laser blade, seriously, that laser blade probably looks better as a DIY than the X plotter. <sighs> this is the only safe solution for a desktop unit, but it's expensive. And this is a DIY unit. Like I bought that just to have as a hobby unit, just to play around with. And I sort of have a small business where I do work on it and uh, and sell things. But um, yeah, apart from that, you don't want to be using anything else for it. Yeah, I don't know. I just, yeah, no words, no words as usual, just gobsmacked at the total crap that they expect you to buy. I mean, if you, even if they do end up making it, fair enough, and you buy it, fair enough. If it's something you want, fair enough. But for goodness sakes, get some extraction going on it, like build an enclosure for it, do something with it. I mean, add another grand to it and buy some decent extraction equipment, buy some decent enclosure equipment, buy yourself some safety glasses that are for that specific wavelength. I don't even know if they tell you what wavelength laser they put on. I'll have to check it out and maybe put it like a 5 watt laser on there or something like that. It's not worth what they're actually saying. The chassis itself is the only thing worth there. I really don't like that umbilical, the amount of stress that's going to put on the actual rails. But they do have a double rail on there, so that should give you some sort of accuracy. God. Like, the amount of smoke that wood makes, have a look. Look how dirty that extractor vent is there. It creates a lot of, a lot of smoke. A lot of crap comes off of even just acrylic and you need that stuff extracted you don't want it anywhere near you anywhere near your work there are a lot of materials out there that are carcinogenic a lot of P a lot of work like PVC ABS that can uh, create some very hazardous fumes if it's uh, yellow if, it's, uh, if you're burning it and uh, it's coming out yellow then uh, don't work with that material it, it, it will literally kill you um, not straight away obviously it will take a couple of years of breathing that stuff in but um yeah you, if it's yellow that's that's one thing that I always go by oh god oh well it's been funded it's got 32 days to go uh, like I said if you do buy it just yeah, like I said, put 500 to a grand of extra money into it, get some proper extraction, get some proper safety equipment for it. See, the only reason, is I'm, only reason I make these videos, it's, it's the safety, the, the safety hazard for these is just, it's insane. Like, like I said, I've worked with lasers before, I've got my own now, and it's such a priority when it comes to safety. You don't want your kids working with it, like the bullshit video that Mr. Bean came out with when they had little kids um, using it and uh, and playing with it. Don't let your kids play with these things. It's not a freaking toy. Lasers aren't toys. I mean, Jesus Christ. All right, I've rambled on long enough. I'm just going to post this, and I'm probably going to get a lot of dislikes and hate from it like I did with the Mr. Bean. But you know what? I don't care. I care about the the safety and I care about people knowing what they're actually buying and I feel the responsibility as somebody who's worked with quite a few different laser systems and seen what they can do, how quickly they can literally burn a business down. Um, here in Perth we've had a couple of business burnt down because of, uh, of laser systems, of people being negligent with them. And those were expensive systems that were, they had a lot of redundancies in them to prevent that sort of things. But it's just one little thing, one little thing, and you could burn your entire freaking house down. Okay? Just don't, don't do it guys. Be safe. Like I said, get some, if you've bought it already, 
if you're thinking about buying it, set aside another couple of hundred bucks and get some safety equipment and a goddamn enclosure for it. Seriously, get an enclosure for it. Alright, see ya.